program. Views expressed on this program are not necessarily those of CBS Radio, its sponsors, or affiliates. Welcome to the Hardcore Mortgage Real Estate Business Show, brought to you by Capital Mortgage Funding. That's me a little under the weather. It's March 20. You, what could, is it? you couldn't have waited two seconds for lesson to finish the update before you blew your nose? March 28th, brother. It's Mar Oh, it's March 28th, 2015. Yeah, the day after Michigan State went into the grade eight. Oh, that was unbelievable. This is the Hardcore Mortgage Show, brought to you by Capital Mortgage Funding. I'm Harvey Freed. Alongside me, Harry Glanz and Morning, Alex Nafusi. Morning, partner. I'm actually getting over a six-day thing over here. You know, one of those cold things that your kids bring home. Dan Dubinsky, you wouldn't know about Good that. Morning. You have little kids bring yeah, sure. germs home. Dan Dubinsky from Skyward Realty. Welcome to the show in downtown Royal Oak. We're going to have some fun with you this morning because the sun is shining. Even though it's a little chilly outside, it's definitely springtime and home buying season never slows down. It didn't slow down here in southeast Michigan. And Dan, you brought tons of stats in. We're going to be sharing that with you this afternoon. How about all the stats that Dan brought in? A folder? He has a folder. He has a, yeah. analytics, we'll metrics, and analytics. That's you know. a real graph right there. <laughs> Uh, Harry stuff. was doing stats this when his, his kid was 10 years old playing baseball. Oh, yeah. that's right. It's different kinds. For sure. You I got it. These were, they, were, they were more detailed about, about baseball stats. Are you kidding? <laughs> we want to hear you, from you. You don't even want to know. I, it was a I, sickness. I don't. 248 539 We take all your calls here live in the studio. Also at the office all day long at 1-800-LOW-RATE. That's 1-800-569-7283. We're going to have lots of fun because we're really it's a more of a purchase show. I mean, if you haven't refinanced yet, then yes, definitely give Capital a call or give us a call here on this show. Of course, mortgage interest rates continue to hold in the same range for almost, I don't know, I'm going to say for the last six months, basically, uh, somewhere around the 4% range, depending upon the variables, credit scores, loan to value program. There's lots of reasons why you need to refinance, including maybe even paying your income tax because we're sneaking up on April 15th. Real quick, Harry. Yeah, April 15th is coming around. And you know what that means? That means that, A, you have to file a return, even if you plan on, you know, you have to pay your fine, file a return, file an extension. But that doesn't mean that you are exonerated from paying what is due on the 15th. And also, speaking of the IRS and taxes, we talk about scams and the latest scam going on. I don't know if you guys have, uh, you know, been a part of it. But uh, I had dinner with an accountant last night, and it happened to us at our house. They pretend to call from the IRS, and they say they're calling from the IRS, and you owe money. And that, you know, you have to pay it at a certain time, place, and that... Uh, you know, send it to this address or else IRS agents are going to come out and get you. And people out there know what I'm talking about because the first call that you're supposed to make, the IRS generally does not call your house. They send you notices. They send you delinquency right. letters. And then the, you, you do everything through the mail or the IRS website. These people call up. They say they're from the IRS. It's a total scam, and they want you to send money to them. All right, so it's out there. Anybody has had experience that we'd like to hear from you this morning. It happened to me at my house. Unbelievable. Okay? okay. So, you know, we got kind of chippy with the guy on the phone and told him, you know, in so many words, we're calling the police. Shocking. You know, we did call the police. We filed a report, and that's what's out there. So, you know, it's kind of like that. You know, I want to tie it in with other scams, too. If people are calling your house and telling you they want money and you don't know them, right, it's pretty obvious to me. But you're, you can't believe how many people fall for these things. If you're getting wild email about mortgage refinances, they can get you a 2% rate. Send them a check for $1,000. If you're getting loan modification requests, send them a check for $1,000. That's what they all want. Well, they it, want your money up front. It, it, don't pay anybody it, anything. It's anything unsolicited that I would be worried about. You know, people coming to your door. People, you know, people calling you randomly. I'm not doing anything with some stranger that comes to my door. I'm not doing anything with some stranger that calls me on the phone. That's you would be surprised how many people do, Alex, because there's a segment of our society that's extremely trusting, and when they get a threatening phone call, they just succumb to whatever the person on the other end of the phone is saying without checking it out. The first call has to be to the police. The police know all the scams in there. The second is to your financial advisor, your accountant, your mortgage person, whomever it is, whatever the topic du jour is, Call somebody that you know in that field. If you don't know anybody in that field, call the police. 248-539-9797. We definitely want to hear from you all day long. Mortgage rates, extremely volatile. Lots of things going on across the world. And again, we're in a, a really a global economy nowadays. So again, if you're out there and you haven't refinanced, do it quickly. Get the process started. Then you're in control of the process. Save money. These are the days where you save money. Uh, of course, Jenny Yellen spoke this week. They're going to go up sometime in 2015. You can't time it. Go ahead and take care of your uh, your financial house is what we like to call it. And again, if you haven't paid your property taxes from last year, if you currently have a land contract, all sorts of different reasons why you might want to give us a phone call. Hey, Harv, I think she said, I think she said, 
rate a rate increase may be warranted later this year. Okay. Okay, due to any economic signs, you know, the jobless rate going down, the economy allegedly getting better, home sales going up, things of that nature, inflation staying low. There are a lot of economic indicators that when she does decide and when the Fed does decide to take rates up a quarter, probably. Big deal. Right. Fed funds rate it a might quarter. Not even move mortgage rates. Who knows? It, 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 you know, might, it might not move them, but my bet is they are because, as we like to right. say, they're not going down to zero. Well, it, it, it's it, it's going to happen. So let's prepare now for it. So as Harvey says, let's try to refinance to save money now. If you're thinking about doing it, if you're on the fence, get off that fence. Anybody right. that's still waiting for rates to go down, they're, they're just not going to refinance. Going. Yeah, I mean, they're, 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 they're stable. They're, they're, they're in a they're, stable they're spot. They're not going to do anything. So enjoy your high rate. All right, we're going to be sharing a lot of information with you about home purchasing. we got our real estate mogul in here, uh, Dan Dabinsky from <laughs> Skyward Realty. But first, we'll take our first call to start things off. Frank out in Clinton Township. Good morning, Frank. Thanks for calling. Hi. Hey, morning, Frank. Sir. Uh, I'm 74 years old. I live in a, a condo that's re uh, rented, uh, renting. I've been here for like f almost five years. Uh, the lady that owns it wants to sell it. Uh, it needs a lot of work. I really wouldn't want to buy it. I'm wondering if I go rent another place or should I buy it? I have, th I have $30,000 left on my VA mortgage. What, wait, 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 wait. You, you have a VA mortgage? No, his eligibility. You're that. renting right now? Or you have, you're, you're renting right now, but you have a $30,000 mortgage? Or you have that much no, eligibility? No, no, no. I have $30,000 left on my VA mortgage. How much, I mean, how much I, do you want to buy a place for? I mean, can, can you get a condo for $30,000? Well, I, I want to buy a place. That my payment's about five, seven, eight hundred dollars $800. That's pretty low. Yeah, I mean, it's really, Frank, it's up to you, man. I mean, you, you got to make a decision on, you know, on what you want to do. If you want to buy, um, you know, if you want to buy a house or a condo to, to live in, you, you should. If not, you know, just keep renting, man. Yeah, I mean, hey, Frank, I would tell you, life here, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little older than these guys, Frank. The however is, is that if you find a place in your area that you can rent for the same price that you're renting right now, I mean, you might want to take a look at that. Yeah, I mean, it's that, worth that's to me. Yeah. It, 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 it's worked for you so far. You might want to see if there's anything else in your area that you can rent uh, for, you know, for as low as you're renting now and uh, not obligated yourself, not obligate yourself to a mortgage. Yeah, I don't like the idea that you would uh, buy something that's a money pit, Frank. Again, um, you know, it takes a lot of money to fix up a, a unit. Let's see what's out there. Maybe something would spark your interest. You're paying a really low amount now. I mean, if she's going to get rid of you, and again, she might not sell it right away. So have a nice talk with her. Maybe you guys can work something out where you hang in there a little bit longer. I don't want you buying a money pit. And uh, definitely, that's a low house payment. If you find yeah, yourself and another condo. And at 74, you don't yeah. need to worry about... Cutting you know, lawns. fixing up cutting a place, lawns, yeah. cutting Filling lawns snow. or, you know, or homeowners insurance, property taxes. I mean, you know, people might find it funny that here the mortgage guys are telling you to go rent a place. But but that's the kind of objective advice we're going to give. If it's not best for you to go buy a place, why go buy a place? Yeah. Thanks for the call, Frank. We're going to get Frank. a phone call back to you, see if for us someone I, can honestly, take you out. I, I believe that. If he, could, if he could rent or, you know, I think that's a great idea. I mean, dude, my father's 66 and he still gets on the roof and cleans the gutters. <laughs> yeah. Like it drives, well, it drives, it drives it. My hey, mom. he's special, though. I, I know. I mean, he thinks, he thinks he's like a ninja. I mean, I'm like, dude, please just have someone do it. I'll come do it. Right. Uh, you know what? We're going to go to Doug out there in Grand Blanc. Good morning, Doug. You want to buy vacant land? Doug, what's up, dude? Hey, good morning. How are you guys doing? Good morning, you, Doug. Good. Hey, quick question. Uh, I'm I'm interested in buying some hunting land and probably in the future putting a cabin on it. Uh, where do you go for loans like that? Is it? It's. it's there's no property. On, there's no structure on it right now. No, currently there's no structure. Uh, there's probably a small credit union or in, bank. Yeah. Or, or bank in. It says you're looking in Hellman, Michigan. Up that way, yeah, it specializes yeah, in, in in vacant. You know, multiple acre plots of land. You're going to want to go that route. Okay. I would okay. just call a small, uh, like yeah, a small bank, a small credit union up, up where you're looking to buy is, is probably your best bet. Yeah. Hopefully you can get okay. construction. Hey, hey, how many acres is it? It's, uh, it's 45 acres. Sounds cool. Awesome, dude. Well, best what? of luck hunting. And uh, yeah, if you, if you have any questions after you talk to that bank or credit union, give us a call. And um, okay. we'll double check the docs for you. Take care of you. Okay. All right. Thanks. Cool. Thanks. 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 See right. you, man. Easy enough. You want to hunt, you want to fish, you want to buy a place Wait, up How north? come that okay. sounds really cool, buying a big piece of acreage and uh, just kind of hanging I'm out not there? A, Some guys I'm dig not that. I'm a hunter, but I would dig like all that space. It'd be cool, wouldn't it? You get bored. Yeah, I get bored. <laughs> you I, would? I, I, I mean, I you could bored. ATV yeah, on it. Yeah, you could do a yeah, bunch of stuff on it, right? I'm sounds more of a, cool. More of I mean, I wouldn't do it, but it sounds cool. Is there Wi-Fi? I'm fine then.
Oh, no, Alan. You're going to start our morning off. Alan calling in from Clinton. Alan, what do you got going on that's going to upset Alex? Hi. Um, I filed uh, bankruptcy back in 2009. My attorney told me don't sign a reaffirmation act for five years. I can walk away from the house. A couple months ago, I called you guys and talked to one of the representatives from your union side for the, for the discount to union. And she told me that I have to be away from the house for three years for me to buy a house. My wife don't work. So she went in three years of school. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what my options are because I don't want to take on that mortgage again. You know, and I don't want to stop paying the mortgage and lose the house. I, you know, when I have nowhere to go. Well, yeah, you got you, you, uh, to. You need to reaffirm that property. I mean, you've been making the mortgage payment on time? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so we can, we can do a refinance and reaffirm that mortgage for you. You want to keep the house, right? No, 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 I want to get a bigger house. Well, you can't this afford house. the one you're in right now. See? Well, I've been hanging on it for five years without the on time for five years, but it, it, I, yeah, I owe 135 on it. it don't, it's only worth 128, but too small. I need a four bedroom house, uh, and it's, I, you know, I'll grow, I've outgrown the house since I bought it nine years ago. Ellen, I got to run to a break, buddy. Stand in line, okay? I'm gonna come back to you, okay? Hang tight, okay? All, All right, right, we're up Thanks against our first break this morning. Come on back and join us. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. Hey, Red Wing fans, Ken Cal here. It's time for you to get your 2015 Stanley Cup playoff tickets. Tickets for round one are on sale now. Call 313-471-7575 or visit DetroitRedWings.com. It's more than hockey. Hi, Harry Glanz for Capital Mortgage Funding. Rates are at historic lows, and they're not going down to zero. So what are you waiting for? Call 1-800-LOW-RATE and let our award-winning staff help you save money. If you're looking to purchase a new home, refinance your existing home, and you want to save money, call 1-800-LOW-RATE and take advantage of these historic low rates. That's Capital Mortgage Funding, 1-800-LOW-RATE, the best mortgage banker. What are you waiting for? Call 1-800-LOW-RATE. Capital Mortgage Funding is powered by Fairway Independent Mortgage Corporation, NMLS ID number 2. 289 Equal Housing Lender. Suburban Ken Lack of Plymouth. Make a choice. Experience the difference. The Suburban Collection. Want to get away? As temperatures rise and roadways clear, the 2015 Cadillac ATS 2.0 Turbo All-Wheel Drive is your ticket to moving from point A to B in style and comfort. At Suburban Cadillac of Plymouth, Ann Arbor Road off I-275, lease ATS for $299 a month for 39 months with $2,500 down. Must be GMS and GM Oil. See dealer for complete details. The Cadillac ATS brings you luxury and cold weather packages, as well as 4G LTE Wi-Fi at only $299 a month. Let Suburban take you wherever you want to go. Suburban Cadillac of Plymouth. A member of the Suburban Collection, make the choice. And at the Suburban Collection Showplace in Novi, enjoy the backyard pool and spa show this weekend. The Suburban Collection. Visit SuburbanCadillacofPlymouth.com. Offer expires March 31st. Earnings vary based on your effort. Do you want to learn how to make money flipping houses right here in Detroit? If so, we have an amazing opportunity for you. We're looking for a small group of motivated individuals to join our real estate investing team. You'll learn our simple three-step system for flipping homes right here in the local area. This is Than Merrill, star of A&E's hit TV show, Flip This House. My team and I are looking for a handful of people in the Detroit area who want to learn how to make money flipping houses in your spare time using other people's money. Detroit is a perfect market for my system, and next week, I'm holding a free two-hour educational workshop where you will learn how to make money flipping homes and how to build long-term wealth with income properties. To get two free tickets to Than's Workshop, call 1-800-720-6694. Seating is extremely limited. Call in the next 10 minutes and you'll also reserve a free copy of Than's Money for Deals Guide. That's 1-800-720-6694. That's 1-800-720-6694. Spring's the time to get your car ready for the road and all the places you'll be going. To help you get prepared, Bell Tire is opening this Sunday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. with big savings on tires during our ultimate Sunday sale. This Sunday only, get the lowest tire price period plus save up to an extra $130 off a set of four tires Sunday only every Bell tire will be open for just six short hours to offer you extra savings of up to $130 off four new tires 
Save on Michelin, BF Goodrich, Goodyear, Mastercraft, Toyo, Sumitomo, Bridgestone, and more. Tire installation can't be performed on Sunday, but day, evening, and Saturday appointments can be made for installation at your convenience. Spring is in the air, so hit the road to our ultimate Sunday sale and get your car ready with up to an extra $130 off the lowest tire price period. Sunday only, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Only at Bell Tire. This Sunday only from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Don't miss Bell Tire's ultimate Sunday sale and save up to an extra $130 off a set of four tires installed. For the Bell Tire near you or sale details, go to belltire.com. Sunday only, only at Bell Tire. It's tournament time, and Mr. B's and Royal Oak is all pumped up. We've even moved our Hoops Fever machines right up to the front of the room so you can shoot baskets and watch games at the same time. Come join me, Chef Johnny, and cheer our green and white onto a championship run. We're going to have three-point shot specials, $3 off all burgers, and $3 off wings. Come try our basket shooting contest for charity and take your shot at winning some great prizes. We'll even have a sports DJ rocking out the tunes during breaks. The food will rock, the drinks will rock, and you'll rock too. The new Mr. B's in Royal Oak. Text the ticket anytime, 24-7 at 97136. The Galliana's Van Dyke Dodge Ticket Text. Don't overpay. Get into Galliana's Van Dyke Dodge today. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? My neighbor? Mr. Rogers passed along friendship, hoping we would too. Friendship. Pass it on. From the Foundation for a Better Life at Values.com. The baseball team that Detroiters love most. The Detroit Tigers live here. Welcome back to the show. We broadcast till 10 o'clock. It's the Hardcore Mortgage Show brought to you by Capital Mortgage Funding. Give us a call all week long, all weekend long at 1-800-LOW-RATE. That's 1-800-569-7283. Also live in the studio, 248-539-9797. A lot of great things happening out there. Did you know that the U.S. rental vacancy hit a 21-year high the other last year, actually, according to the Census Bureau? Believe it or not, now is your opportunity to purchase a house. Dan, as you know, rents have gone not up. Not in Royal Oak, man. Don't like that? There he is. There you go, buddy. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, you see rents that are outrageous right now, and that's why we show people a comparison compared renting to buying, how you're going to save money, not only tax benefits, but actually, you know, your payment. And, of course, the appreciation. You know, we've seen crazy appreciation in the last three years. Uh, I think we're in the, we were in the top 50 in the country. Now we're seeing something like it's going to be a little bit more steady, you know, yeah, 60% subtle. per year. Uh, but some, some areas, if you buy smart, there's deals out there still. Yeah, lots of opportunity. We take all your calls here, 248 539 so we got Alan back sort of on the line. Alan, we're trying to piece what you want to do here. What's going on again? You've got the house, but you're a little underwater on. Maybe this spring you'll be able to sell it and make some money on it or get out so that you can purchase a new house. Yeah, what I'm trying to do, I just, I, my wife has a 700 credit score, but she hasn't worked in eight years. And she just got her two years of schooling. And then I had my credit scores backed up. I built it through buying, uh, I had my name to one of her, lease, at least I call her name, but I had my name to it. And because that mortgage doesn't show up, that mortgage doesn't show up my credit because I didn't reaffirm it. But I want to walk away from it because it's too small and it needs a lot more repair than it's worth. But like I said, I talked to a lady when you guys about a couple months ago. She don't work. She don't work for you no more. But on the union side of the uh, of the of your guys, so she told me that the only way I can buy a house because the house is only in my name, not my wife. Right. The only way I can buy a house is if I. You know, walk away from that three I years gar- now. I, I, buy I, a house. I guarantee no one from our office told you to walk away from that house. Do you understand the premise right now? Like you're calling, you're calling a bank and telling me you took a loan out. You don't want, you don't like that house anymore. You want to walk away from it, but you want to borrow more money. Yeah, it's inaccurate uh, information. There's no way you can walk away from a house and get a new house. <clears throat> so what are my options? I'm trying to find more options because I don't want to take on that more. The options are to pay your bills on time, make your house payment. You're not entitled to a new house. Why do you need a new house? Why do you need a bigger house? What I know is, you want one, I know but you want the fact one. that you can afford one is a different story. And th- think of what happens with your neighbors. When you walk away from a house, it brings the value down in the neighborhood. Yeah. Right? Are you following this, Alan? Right, I'm looking here. Yeah, I mean, dude, you can't, you, you can't walk away from a house, not pay the bills on time, then get another mortgage. All right, no, let me I see. Right. Five years. But so you, you still can't walk away, though. Alan, I mean, if, if the house is underwater, you still owe that money. Maybe we can consider this, Alan, and we're going to call you off I'm gonna here. Call maybe you we're going to rent rent your existing house out. If you and then Thanks, Alan. 
And then if you somehow were able to qualify or you could rent your existing house and buy another or just rent another house because you may not qualify to buy a new house. Maybe rent your existing I, 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 I one and rent a more expensive one. Well, hopefully. Harry's going to call you after. H glands. H glands are low rate online.com. 248 539 Let's go out to Walt in Detroit. Good morning, Walt. What's going on? Good morning. How are you? Well, hey, good morning, Walt. sir. Good. Um, I'm trying to help my my mom out. Um, her my grandma, her mom recently passed, and now she has two homes. And really, she's having one is located in Mississippi. And there was at one point a question about uh, the deeds and making sure the names were correct. So now if she does have her name only on it. But she's not. It's very hard for her to work with someone from Mississippi. There just seems like there's, it's, you know, my mom's not an expert on the computer, and she's not in, you know, faxing and emails and all that stuff. So it's it's tricky for her. So I was wondering if there is anyone you can work with in Michigan to kind of broker the deal. But I think what you want to find in Mississippi is a title company, and I got to imagine they have a good title company down there somewhere near your area or near, near her area, and they'll figure out the chain of title, who's on it, who needs to sell, uh, if it's is there a probate situation, that's where you're going to want to start. Anytime we go into a uh, listing, uh, we find out, uh, ask them if they have the copy of the deed. If not, then we just consult our title company we do business with all the time. And they're very quickly, they could figure the situation out. Yeah, just to do a title search and get some professional people that can really research it for you. It's not that difficult, Walt. I think what we'll do is we'll actually call you after the show and maybe make some phone calls. to Try first, if you can just Google that, see if there's a first American title perhaps down in uh, Mississippi in the city that your mom's at, okay? Okay, yeah, uh, if you guys could call me later, that'd be great, because she's got two houses she's dealing with, and one's in Michigan. So you got it. I'd love to talk to you guys. You got it, partner. We'll great, to the fantastic. Show. Got Thanks, some Walt. great, Thanks, See you, man. great Bye -bye. people to help you out there. 248-539-9797. Purchase a home. Start living the American dream. That sounds like a good idea. The folks in their 20s and 30s are really starting to make, those millennials are starting to make a push towards home ownership. And again, as we mentioned before, it's just not the nagging parents and trying to get out of mom and dad's basement <laughs> so that you can party and that kind of stuff here. I don't know what people do in their basements, but... I don't know. If you live in my basement, it's a pretty good... That's a clean house. <laughs> yeah, there's deal. no bad things going on <laughs> there. Uh, but the cost of rent has gone up so much that it just makes home ownership that much easier. Again, 3% down, 3.5% down FHA, zero down VA loans, rural development loans. Just on the outskirts of the big urban areas, you've got rural development loans, zero down. There's some income limitations, 5% down conventional, 3% down conventional. Folks, it's very easy to buy a house. You can get a gift from family members. If you want to purchase, find out what it takes to do that. Again, these millennials, uh, their numbers are up. They've taken over the uh, baby boomers, and now they're making up. 32% of the housing market. And again, they still have that student loan problem out there, but they don't have the lack of jobs. The jobs have picked up and the uh, jobs reports are looking favorable. Um, so again, more and more families are buying up these starter homes and it gives you just that much more reason why you need to have that approval letter in your hand because you're going to be competing against many families looking to buy these these first time homes which are you know usually between 80 and let's say 150,000. You got you got to have your ducks in a row. You have to know exactly how you're going to structure the loan. That's why it's very important to have good communication between yourself and the mortgage company because there is competition. You can't piece it in. You can, you know we get offers sometimes where they're missing stuff. Uh, you know where's the money coming from? Where's the pre-approval? Have they been talked to? So it's it's very important that you and your uh, mortgage company or your your realtor that you select a mortgage company are on the same page. All right, let's go to our, one of our callers out there. We got Bill calling in from Clarkston. Bill, welcome to our show. Go ahead, sir. Hi, how you doing? Good. Good morning, morning sir. Bill. Good morning. I just uh, have a question. I um, got injured at work. It's a long story. Anyways, I got disabled due to my back, and through a long, arduous process, I qualified for that home affordable program right. that um, Obama did, and and uh, the first five years are two percent interest. And so I've been paying extra on my uh, principal, right? Oh, that's a good so, smart plan. That's the first time I've heard someone actually say that, that they had a modification of 2% and then they took advantage of it and started building that principal down to get themselves a good equity position. That's brilliant. Well, I knocked it down uh, $32,000 in five years. Good Perfect. for you. Good man. Good for you. Well, I think that's smart. A lot of people said I was foolish, but, you know, I want to get that debt erased. And anyways, now it's going to 3%, right? Good. And then and then it goes to four, and then it then it goes to five percent for thirty years. All right, but so you my have, question you is, have three more years it, before it hits five, right? I got two more years before it hits five. Okay. Well, well, maybe three because I'm on three percent now. Then it's four percent. Right. Then it's five percent. Right. So you know, so my question is, should I stay with this program, or would it make more sense for me to go get a mortgage 
and um, do it that way. I would. I think. I mean, I'd like to put you back, maybe like on a ten-year fix and just be done with it. The rate will stay. You know, I mean, I can't do it at two percent, obviously, but I mean, you're looking at somewhere in the low to mid threes on a ten-year, and at least then you're you're managing the downside risk. You need, you're taking four and five percent out of the picture. And your payment's right. going to say, Ron, what, what you're at right now. Really? Yeah. I mean, let me let me call after the show, run some numbers for you. But, I mean, it, it's all about managing the downside risk. You don't want to call back here in two years and say, hey, guys, I was at 3%, and now I'm at 5%. If I can manage the downside risk for you and put you on a fixed product, you'll be good to go. Well, well I also have a bit of a uh, – I have a home equity loan for – Let's wrap them not a, let's wrap them together. a substantial amount, but – I'd like to maybe if I combine the two, it Bill, would be cheaper. Right. Yeah. Bill, we're up against a break. That's a I'll great call. call. Show, we're going to follow Thanks, up with man. you again. All your calls, 248-539-9797. We'll be right back. Hello, this is Scott for Scott's Turf Builder with Halt Crabgrass Preventer. But Scott, you say, you cannot prevent crabgrass. It's one of life's unavoidable evils like taxes or reality TV shows. Well, you can prevent it with Scott's. It keeps crabgrass away all season long. Well, it provides your lawn with essential nutrients. Go on. Put down Scott's Tough Builder with Holt's Crabgrass Preventer this weekend. Feed your lawn. Feed it. Attention Zorelto users. If you or a loved one has taken Zorelto and suffered an injury or even died, you could be entitled to compensation Zarelto is a prescribed blood thinner used to prevent blood clots and protect people from strokes. Doctors have discovered they were unable to control or reverse serious side effects, such as internal bleeding caused by Zarelto. Serious bleeding has led to numerous cases of hospitalization and death. If you or a loved one was hospitalized for serious internal bleeding, pulmonary embolism, or stroke after taking Zarelto, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Don't be a silent victim. Time is limited to file your claim, so call now for a free consultation. 800-403-4002. 800-403-4002. This is an advertisement, non attorney paid spokesperson. iLawsuit.com is responsible for this advertisement. Principal Office, San Diego, California. Want to say goodbye to your wireless carrier, but you can't. Either they trapped you in a long-term contract, or they've got you locked up paying off a phone. Sounds like a bad carrier relationship to us. T-Mobile can set you free. Now we'll pay off your phone up to 650 bucks when you trade it in. Yep, every last cent. And if it's a contract holding you back, we'll take care of that too. How's that for a clean break? So get out of that bad carrier relationship. Just remember, it's not you, it's them. It's definitely them. Why wait? Ditch your carrier and their switching fees and switch to the uncarrier today. Pay off with trading credit and Visa prepaid card. Eligible trade in new device purchase, qualifying credit, and service required. May take up to eight weeks. See a T Mobile store for offer details. Promotion card issued by Metabank. Member FDIC. Card expires. Field and Stream is where traditions begin. And now that our store is open in Troy's Oakland Mall, come begin a new tradition of your own. At Field and Stream, you'll find authentic gear from the best brands like Bear, Sitka, Remington, Shimano, and more. Whether you need your bow tuned or expert advice, with our field tech services, you're in good hands. Sign up for the Sportsman's Advantage Club to earn points, get rewards, and own the outdoors. The new Field and Stream store where traditions begin. If your irons keep coming up a little short, or if perhaps the woods are giving you trouble, there's really only one thing to do. Get to Demo Days at Carl's Golf Land, where you'll find the answers to your troubles. Every Saturday now through March, talk to reps from the leading manufacturers of the newest high-tech equipment from the best names in golf, like TaylorMade, Callaway, and Cobra. Plus, you can talk to our PGA pros about tuning up your game and get help from some of the most knowledgeable golfers you'll ever meet, our sales staff. And at Carl's, you can always try before you buy. Swing out back to our practice range and see how a brand new club really feels. So if your golf balls have a lost their sense of direction, or if you're ready to bag your bag, don't miss Demo Days at Carl's Golf Land. Saturday, try out the newest products from golf's top manufacturers during Demo Days at both Carl's Golf Land locations, Bluefield Hills and Plymouth at St. John's. 
the 97.1 The Ticket Street Team at Arden Jake's Bar and Grill in Shelby Township, Tuesday from 7.30 to 9.30. Watch the wings in action and win tickets to an upcoming game at the Joe. Plus, you could win autographed wings merchandise and more. For more info, visit cbsdetroit.com. Sports news all day, every day. This is 97.1 The Ticket. Brought to you by Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan. Seven seed Michigan State in the Elite Eight. A 62-58 win over Oklahoma yesterday. Travis Trice with 24 points. They'll face off against Louisville tomorrow afternoon. At 220, you can watch it on CBS 62. Kentucky, the overwhelming favorite right now, according to the odds makers, of 5 to 6, followed by Duke and Arizona at 6 to 1. Wisconsin at 8 to 1. Michigan State at 10 to 1. Louisville the long shot along with Notre Dame at 25 to 1. Louisville besting NC State 75-65. Utah 60. Utah loses to Duke 63-57. Gonzaga 74. UCLA 62. Pistons have won four in a row. They take out Orlando 111-97. Kevin Durant is out for the season for Oklahoma City. Tigers fall to the Jays 4-1. Justin Verland will be evaluated later today. He injured his right triceps and cramped up during the third inning yesterday. Tigers have released pitcher Luke Putkonen and the Wings and Lightning today with Peter Morazic and going from the Joe 140 right here on 97.1 The Ticket. From the 1-800 Call Sam Studios, I'm Jeff Lesson. For more 97.1thetticket.com Tigers baseball. The one two is swing and a miss. Nine days till opening day. He got him with another breaking ball. On 97.1 The Ticket. Welcome back to the Hardcore Mortgage Show brought to you by Capital Mortgage Funding. We are going to give you another 30 minutes here of some great information. If you're looking to purchase a house, be sure to call us, 248-539-9797, or call Capital Mortgage all day long at 1-800-LOW-RATE, the best mortgage hey, banker. Harvard, we got a bunch of texts. Let me answer these questions real quick. Yeah. One, first one, can I get a mortgage with a 620 credit score? The answer is yes, you can, but there's got to be there's more to that store. I mean, it can't be a 620, but you walked away from a house last year. You know, you can't, have, you know, you can't be in bankruptcy right now. With a 620 credit score, yes, you can get a mortgage. Second one is, can I take over a mortgage from my parents that has been modified? You're going to have to get a copy of the modification agreement. You really can't assume a mortgage. An FHA loan is assumable, but you have to still go through the qualification process. I think the best thing to do in that situation is have your parents sell you the house, do a gift of equity, get you in for zero down, and cover your costs. Or That's a quick claim answer. on the title. But still, the mortgage is still right. in the parent's name, though. I understand. So there's more to the And then we can refi it. But it's, it's tough to, with, with, just based on those questions, those, those are the answers. Awesome mm-hmm. stuff, Alex. 248 539 9797. We definitely want to hear from you. It's always about the inventory and the appraisals and the prices, what's going on out there. I mean, we were talking about it. who are you going to be fighting against when you make an offer? 75 million people born between the age of 1980 and 1995, the oldest of that group, those millennials, again, are definitely purchasing a home. I mean, it's a different market out there. You must be approved and ready to close on a house in 30 days. There's going to be cash offers. If you're looking between 80 and 100, 130,000 in that ballpark, you're a first time home buyer. You've got to get it together. Come on, folks. Don't, don't be lost out there. 50% of the people that call us really have their stuff together. They're able to get their documents together. Their credit's good. Then the other 50%, boy, oh boy, 248-539-9797. Let's go out to Nick out there in Harrison Township. Nick, what's going on? Hey, good morning, guys. How you doing? Good morning, what's sir? up, what's Nick? Happening? Yeah, you know, I listen to your guys' show every Saturday, and I thought I'd call up and share my home buying success story with you. Cool. Um, Excellent. Let's you know, hear tw- it. Tw- yeah, 23 years old, and, um, you know, I spent the last few years making sure my credit was good, and, you know, for really, because of you guys listening to you about the market being so good, I decided, you know, I'm going to get out there and see what's going on, and um, it took me 30 days to find a home, another 30 days to close on it, and, um, you know, kept my credit score good, and... Um, pretty, um, you happy? pretty you, unpainful process. You, you like the house and everything? You happy? Oh, I love the house. It was a, it was a flipped house. It was completely redone. Wow. 1,400 square foot. Um, you know, and you know, I'm paying 25% less for a mortgage than my friend is renting. Yeah, so, that's right. Nick, it's um, outstanding, man. I bought my first house when I was 23. It was, the, it was the best thing I did, man. Nick, Absolutely. this is a great call, man. I really yeah, appreciate I, you yeah. calling. This is all good stuff. I mean, yeah, thanks. What would you have thanks, done? To, any, 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 oh, Thanks, fantastic. Nick. Take care, buddy. Thanks for calling. Thanks a lot, there, man. Dude. What else can we add to that? I don't know who he, well, Nick I think, is, but... I, I mean, he, obviously, he's a young guy. You know, he's, he's got his act together. I mean, I don't know how much he put down, but I mean, you, you can buy a house with, with as little as 3% down now. I mean, and obviously, there's maintenance going on. I mean, I think uh, the, fir- the first car, the uh, the elderly gentleman, I mean, you know, he might not be a buyer. He might be a renter. You know, I, yeah. I don't want that guy. Well, it sounds like to me, you know what? He, he made up his mind he was going to do it, and he wasn't fooling around. He yeah. didn't nickel and dime it. And, and as we know right now, per the stats that Dan brought us, and 
and, and what we're feeling in the market is that right now is the time to buy. People out there buying. And if you're not ready and you're not qualified, you're going to miss out on that house. And you, and you can't nickel and dime on it because guess what? There are, there could be legitimately now, and we in the mortgage industry hate, hate to hear this, there could be two backup offers on it. If you want the house, go ahead and buy the house. Yeah, and it looks like these stats are all pointing to the fact that as we get deeper into the to the warmer months here, you're going to see more competition. The, the stats here show that they, people are getting a higher percentage of what they're asking than they are now. So would you rather uh, buy in a, two months from now and pay exactly what they're asking or get a deal now? Well, right, yeah. and I, I think that's what you have to do. I think when you go in there and you find a house... And, and, you know, the, the days of, you know, when the market is hot, the days of trying to negotiate, I'm all for negotiating your best price. But you know what? Some people can be their worst enemies. They just negotiate themselves right out of a transaction. Yeah, we, we have people that uh, they'll have to lose two or three houses before they understand. <laughs> they understand and, I'll, right. and I'll tell them, I said, listen, you're going to have competition. Put your best foot forward. And, you know, they don't believe you sometimes, but they sit on the sidelines and lose two or three homes. Then the next, they're ready to really pull the trigger. And be, stuff. Right. Be on the 50 percent of the side that has their act together. It's definitely organized. Improving your credit might be something you need to do. Be true to yourself. Find out what you qualify for. There's no cost at all to do it. Uh, we can run your credit. We can even give you ideas using some of our software programs on how to improve your credit. So definitely great news. If you just give us a phone call, 248-539-9797. We're going to go out to Butch out there in Plymouth. Good morning, Butch. Thanks for calling in. Hi. Morning, I sir. have a house that's already listed for sale in Plymouth, and I was told by an agent, somebody that showed the house, that comparables are only good in, in the, that area for 90 days after they sell. And I was wondering if that was true because I've never heard that. An appraiser typically wants to go as early as possible. They'll go 30, 60, 90. They don't like to go beyond 90 days. Uh, in your area, they're going to probably probably have a plenty of uh, comparables, so they wouldn't have to go back past that. But, yeah, that's typically the case. But in some cases, you find yeah. where 90 days from now or from, from today, these they were, people were, no one was out, so they were buying at low prices. But now we're seeing that homes that we've had sit on the market for five, six months are all of a sudden selling. So there's going to be a difference. Well, Go, Go ahead, ahead, Butch. I'm sorry. Hey, Bo hey Butch, is, is this the value of your house, Butch, or what's, what are you going to use the cops for? Well, that's what they tried to do. The house is the house is uh, 300. I got it listed for 299. It's five bedrooms, three and a half baths. Um, it's a lot and a half on a corner lot in Plymouth. I think it's very. I think it's very priced. Priced very well, and it's brand new. I built it last year. It's never been well, lived in. All right, are you getting um, any action on it yet? I've had. I've had about 15 people look at it, but um, the my my agent my agent is is uh, telling me that it's been listed for 60 plus days, and I said, well, 45 of those days it was two feet of snow. Well, right, right, right. Yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah, this is, Butch, this is the home buying I'm, you know, the home buying season, man. Hurry. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Listen, nobody wants to go look at houses when it when it's negative 20 degrees and there's six feet of snow on the ground. I, I think you're absolutely right. I mean, so you put it up for sale in January. 45 yeah. days came out. It was freezing, you know what, off. Okay, now the last 15 days are pretty good. I wouldn't do anything right now. But stay the course, man. Let's see how April and May turn out. And then, if, you know, if the end of May comes and it had, you, you know, it's, it haven't had any bites on it, you'll have to lower the price. Yeah, and I would I would check what your competition, the, you know, the competing listings are doing and, and see what happens. But uh, for right now, you're talking about March 28th, my man. All right, I appreciate it. You guys helped. No worries, Butch. It, Thanks, man. See Thanks, Butch. Thanks for the call. Give us a follow-up call on that. 248-539-9797. Always, if you did call on the show, if you have a great story, how someone shared their story a little bit earlier, it's fantastic. Hey, get a great real estate agent. They can direct you to the, all the hot properties, right, Dan Dubinsky? Yeah, I mean, they, they know what's going on. They're connected. They know the inspectors in the area. They know how to smooth out some of the bumps. It, it's time to really... Stop using your uncle's friend's cousin and throwing him a bone. Get the professional people, and I'm telling you, there's such a difference. When you're making a major purchase like this, there's just no reason not to handle you know business the correct way. Let me way. tell you, go ahead, Dan. You know, I was just going to say, like I talked about a couple weeks ago, you know, we have a Kroger moving into Royal Oak. Those homes oh, are, okay. are, are selling; uh, they're just, they're popping up. But some people won't know that they'll go and buy. And if if you have an agent from Flint or wherever does it part time, they're not going to know that. Next thing you know, you bought a home and Kroger's coming down. Right, and you got the garbage you wanna, can. Yeah, you don't you don't hear that those trucks backing up at you know four o'clock in the morning. And they build a brick wall behind your yeah. house and Let stuff me tell like you that. Why it doesn't work for everyone. Let me, let me share a quick story. Let me tell you why I dig Skyward, and I, you know, it's not just because you know they're my buddies. So you, you know what's going on with Josh's deal? 
in, um, uh, in, in Ornelas. Oh, yeah, yeah, say, yeah. I'm well, not going to well, say the other side. Yeah, listen, listen. That, this that is, came this to me, is why I love Skyward so much. That came okay. to me three weeks ago, and I said, this is a cut and dry issue. It's, it's, uh, it's, this is what has to be done. Basically, they're trying to do a deal outside of closing. And it they're came trying in, to get cash back on a purchase. came in, in addendum form, and they sent it to the title company, and the title company, uh, you know, said, well, you can't, don't send it to us, but we don't know what's but going on. But we don't on. know what's going yeah, on. Yeah, and I said, listen, I, I don't want any part of this. It's $3,500. It has to be in the, in the, in the HUD. And, uh, well, Alex, and, you know, Tim, we're not involved in the deal. They're trying to do a rep- they, they want to get cash back on the, on the purchase to, buy, you know, to, to fix a sewer or something. Okay. And Josh is like, dude, there's no way. And so the other agent's trying to tell him that it's legal, that it's legit. <laughs> oh, it's, yeah, it's, right. It's totally legal, but in quote, don't make a habit of it. Uh, okay, if it's 100% legit and above board, why are you telling me? Well, they could do well, seller's concessions, right? Well, they already we, have seller's concessions. And you, now can do a, you can do a repair escrow. Reduce I mean, they're, the price they're, of the house. You can reduce the price of the house. There are a thousand things to do besides get cash back on the a closing. Agent, the which agent is like told the them that they can get cash. one thing in the world. It's nuts. 941 when we come back. All your anyway, calls, 248-539-9797. Thanks, Alex. Alex Jones on the ticket. Your opinion matters. Call the D Las Vegas 97 won the ticket studio line at 248 539 9797. Book your stay at the D by visiting the D.com. The D Las Vegas, the home for Detroit sports in Vegas. The following was recorded at a Burger King drive thru at breakfast. Morning, welcome to Burger King. Can I have a uh, bacon, egg, and cheese croissant sandwich? Uh, I'm sorry, what's that word you're saying? Croissant sandwich? Croissant sandwich? sandwich? There's a big poster here. Oh, you mean. Croissantwich! The light, flaky, buttery sandwiches that are two for four dollars. Yep. Sure, why didn't you say so in the first place? <laughs> Get two sandwich breakfast sandwiches for just four dollars. Only at Burger King. Limited time only. Price and participation vary. Today we're talking to... Nikki. That's not my real name. Uh, okay, and you work as... A uh, teller at a big bank. Uh, I can't say which one. And Nikki, I understand you have a confession to make? Yeah, I, um... What? I don't bank at my own bank. Really? Then where do you bank? A credit union. <laughs> Nikki, you don't have to whisper. It's no secret that credit unions are better than banks when it comes to lower fees and better loan rates. So when did it hit you? When I applied for a car loan. Oh, all right. I never realized that a credit union would give me a better rate than my own bank. Oh, usually at least 1% better. Last year, Michigan Credit Union members saved over $226 million in better rates and lower fees. I had no idea. And credit card rates average 4% less than bank-issued cards. <laughs> you know, if I wasn't a bank teller, I'd tell everyone to switch to a credit union. Nikki, I think you just did. Oh. With lower fees and better loan rates, you'll realize, too, that the best place to do all your banking is at a credit union. It's time to own your money. Find out how at CULinkMichigan.com. Your connection to credit unions in Michigan. Credit unions are federally insured by the NCUA. Equal opportunity lender. 0% financing for up to 72 months for qualified buyers is back at Lularit Chevrolet. Buy a Chevy Cruze or Malibu and get 0% financing for up to 72 months plus up to $1,000 in bonus cash. 0% financing for up to 72 months plus up to $1,000 bonus cash. That's six years with no interest. Lularit Chevrolet is located at the corner of Plymouth and Haggerty Roads in Plymouth. For program details, call 877-55-CHEVY. Save money when you make the switch to Lurich. We're looking for people who want to make a difference. If you're tired of few hours, little work, and low pay, go to MolnarRoofing.com. How does working year-round, full 40-hour weeks, full health benefits, and a good paycheck sound? If you're a commercial or residential roofer, or work with architectural metal and siding, and want the opportunity to grow within the company and get rewarded well for doing it, go to MolnarRoofing.com and click on the Careers tab to apply now. Apply right from your mobile device. MolnarRoofing.com. Molnar Roofing is an equal opportunity employer. Thanks for taking Drew and me to the eye doctor. I'll just grab my new Medicaid card and we can go. New Medicaid card? Yeah, now that I can choose a new health plan, I switched to United Healthcare Community Plan. Got to keep the same doctor and everything. Good, so Drew will still get her glasses? Actually, she can even choose from designer type frames now. United Healthcare Community Plan covers them. Plus, they'll help us get to our appointments. I already scheduled her checkup for next week. Really? An insurance company that actually helps you get to the doctor? Yes, we can either set up a ride or ask for a gas reimbursement. So from now on, when I drive you to your medical appointments, we can get help with the gas cost? That's right. Welcome to United Healthcare Community Plan. Call 1-877-688-8638 to learn more. 
That's 1-877-688-8638 or visit Medicaid.com. We know what it's like, that persistent nagging feeling that will only go away when you get away. For those with a passion for travel, there's the new Discover It Miles card. You earn unlimited 1.5 miles for every dollar you spend. And you can fly any airline anytime with no blackout dates. Just buy your ticket and use miles to credit your statement. Apply now and Discover will double your miles at the end of your first year. So go on, scratch that travel itch. Get the new Discover It Miles card today. Limitations apply. Learn more at discover.com slash miles. If you're going to the Wings game today, get out to the Joe Louis Arena Concourse by the Gordy Howe Statue, where 97 won the tickets. Pat Caputo will broadcast from 10 till games on. He'll be there with the street team and the ticket chicks. Stop by for your chance to win Michigan Lottery's golden ticket, $5 instant ticket. Win up to $300,000 instantly. Instant games. Put some play in your day. For Wings tickets, Go to DetroitRedWings.com. If you ever miss Karsh and Anderson on 97 Won the Ticket, you can always hear their highlights at Play.it, your new podcast network for best in class on demand shows. All righty, welcome back to the show, 946. If you're just tuning in, it's the Hardcore Mortgage Show, brought to you by Capital Mortgage Funding. We actually call it the Hardcore Mortgage Real Estate and Business Show because we talk about all facets. And if you need to refinance or purchase a house, be sure to give us a call or call Capital Mortgage all day long at 1-800-LOW-RATE. That's 1-800-569-7283. You know, it's spring, it's home buying season. Uh, it's, it's not warm enough yet, but folks, we've been sort of, the theme this morning was get your ducks in a row. Definitely have a real approval letter. I've talked to many folks out there and they, they, they're not serious about it. If you don't have your money saved up and you haven't sat down and figured out what it's going to take to purchase the house, you're not, they're not going to accept your offer. If, There's too many cash offers. There's too yeah, many better offers. If you're not willing to come in and sit down or even, you know, in, in some cases when we deal with renters, come and pay a $35 application fee, why even bother? Why even and call in and, and, and say you're serious about this? I mean, people have to come in and sit down and spend some time to get what they want. They think it's just going to happen. It's not. Before the last break, we were talking about something that was shady, not legal, and again, get more professional people in your life. You're always able to get more opinions. Find out what you can do to make something happen without throwing yourself in jail or doing something something illegal. Again, there's still some bad dudes out there or ladies, and you got to make sure that you're dealing with the right people, someone you can really trust. And I like that, Dan. Come on in and meet the people. It doesn't cost you anything. Right. Hey, let's continue the calls here. We've got uh, Mike out there. Mike, I'm not sure where you're from, maybe on a cell. Good morning. Welcome to our show. Hi, good morning. Hi. Morning, sir. Mike, I'm what's called, up, buddy? Uh, oh, from Belleville, Michigan. So I was divorced last November, and I walked away with an investment property that said bank it, but I'm getting ready to sell. And it's a little home. And then also I'm living in a place that I want to buy. And it's a rental of a five-unit uh, dwelling. So kind of looking at uh, my situation, inherited credit card debt. So I've got quite a bit amount of debt, but I have some money coming. It's some plans. And I wondered what you guys thought. Well, okay, so what's the balance on the on the investment property you want to sell? Uh, I know I own nothing. Okay, and how uh, much is it worth? You? Uh, the realtor said I'd probably walk away with about 45000 after everything. And how much is the property you want to buy? I guess about 350000 See, here's here's the only issue we're going to have, Mike. Is that a five unit property, a five unit dwelling? You need a commercial loan on that. The most you can finance residentially oh. is four units. Okay. So you're going to have to even get. If a, I live in one of them. Even if you live in one, correct, sir. Okay. So you're probably going to need 25% down. You're going to want to find probably a small bank. And the problem with commercial loans is they're a, they're a, a generally pretty difficult. Yeah, I um, actually have uh, an outlet for them. I have an outlet for them. But again, if there's some way you can maybe look at units that are, are buildings that are one to four units, the rates are a little uh -huh. bit better. That, that might be a little bit easier path for you because you're not working with a ton of money. Well, uh, this is like a dream. It's right on the lake in Belleville, right in town. Uh, what if I one of the units double, like combine mine with another one. That's and actually that a point, great idea. I don't know if you can. Do, I don't know how you would, would still do be that. Would it still uh, be zoned to five units? Well, yeah, you'd have to see how it's zoned. If you could change the zoning, that's, and, uh, Mike, that's a great we'd have idea. Take a look well, go like check that. out the zoning. Yeah, definitely get yeah. down to Belleville and check out the zoning, Mike. You're, that's the most interesting thing we heard. But you can do some investigation on it. We'll follow up and get you a commercial lender if you have to go that route. And uh, maybe there's an opportunity here. I, I like that, too. It's I do, too. Mike, great call, buddy. I'll call you for the show and try to put you in touch with some, some commercial lenders and uh, do some research for you on the zoning on that. 
Thank you so much. Awesome. I'm right. going to the investment to clean it up one last time. Awesome. So I'm ready to start lifting it. Cool. Thanks, Mike. All right. Thanks, fellas. See you, man. Thanks, thanks Mike. Mike. Hey, definitely get down great, to the city. What a great idea. Well, you know what? That, more and more people need to get down to the city. You're looking at a house. And actually, I just have, I have a buddy buying a house. And he went down. And I think he just found out that he had some lake privileges. And there's a little park down there. And there's a lot <laughs> you can find out by going down to the city, Dan. And you know also, some of these cities have city certs. You might want to check that out. That, that uh, showed its ugly face recently in our office. Well, yeah, or, they might have building restrictions. You never know. There's certain things that go with the property that you can or can't do. Right. Yeah, this is, the city is a great source. They'll go down there. You go down to the planning department or building department, and they'll tell you exactly what you can or cannot do with properties. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Let's continue the calls here. Let's move out to Eric in Fenton. Good morning, Eric. You're live on the ticket. Go ahead. How you guys doing? Good. What's up, man? Hey, what's up, Thank brother? Thank you, sir. Hey, um, quick question. I uh, I had a, a, a foreclosure on a property. Um, me and my brother went in together on a house. And um, long story short, it foreclosed, started a foreclosure process. Um, the bank stopped the foreclosure process because the house wasn't worth what it cost to do the foreclosure. Um, so now when I go to apply for a mortgage for a home loan, it, the, all my lenders say that I can't get a, um, a home loan because of the, there's a foreclosure on there. Right. So <laughs> I'm kind of in this limbo mode. I, I talked to the bank that it went to, and basically they said they just put a lien on the house. There's nothing I can do. Well, they've got to complete the foreclosure. They can't just leave it in limbo forever. I mean, they legally have to finish. They have to finish the foreclosure foreclosure process. Okay. But I mean, what they mean? They, they want their money. That's why they're not going forward with it. Why don't you take advantage right. of it and run it well, out right now? There was a bankruptcy in there too, so there's no. You know, I went through a bankruptcy, included the house in the bankruptcy. Right. Um. When did the, so what I did, and I don't know if it's going to help or not, is my brother. He still wanted the house. He's living in it. You know, free free of charge. The bank just basically said, you know, do whatever you want with it. Um, I quit claimed it to him. Uh, I don't know. If, I don't know if that does anything for I, I me. Can tell you, him Eric, up. I can tell you right now, you're not getting a new mortgage. Just so you know. <laughs> I mean, it's not going to happen. Okay. I, but, but, I can just tell you. I mean, you, you I'm, know what he actually I'm, I'm, did? Cut through, I mean, listen, I, I'll cut through all the BS and save you the time of calling a bunch of lenders. You have a house currently in foreclosure. Worse than that, he put his brother on title to and a house that has back yeah, taxes. And, and, yeah, now your brother's on title and has back taxes on a property that you guys aren't even paying on. I <laughs> Right. Yeah, you're not getting a new mortgage. I mean, I'll save, I, I'll save you the time. Um, I, I, it's call, been call, over seven years. I, yeah, but it's still in for. It, did ever, it never went to sheriff sale, so it's still in foreclosure. Right? Right. Yeah, so, yeah. dude, you need three years from the sheriff sale. So how do I get to the sheriff You got to call your attorney that did your bankruptcy and have him put heat on the bank. Yeah. To finish that foreclosure. Oh. Okay. Like so, it's I'll go seven years. Yeah, it's, 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 been, it's been seven years. You should be, you know, at a fresh start at this point in time, but you're not. You're basically just at the beginning stages. You're starting over. Yeah, that's not good. It's just right, starting exactly. over. And that's what everyone tells me. They're, you know, so. Yeah, call your attorney right. and say, hey, dude, help me out, help me out with this. Thanks for the call, Eric. We're going to move you. on. Right, you. Are you approved? Are you just pre-approved, pre-qualified? You better find out what you have. Are you a borderline case? Do you have the high debt-to-income ratio, bad credit? We can fix your credit. We can show you what your ratios are. We can get you set up for successful home ownership. That's the theme. Being able to afford the house. And again, there's lots of different things on a house. You got your property taxes that can go up, homeowner's insurance, cost of repairs, maintenance on a house. Do the right thing. Hey, Tammy, you're our last call of the day calling in from Allington. I'm Harvey Fried, and I think I want to handle you and your son's mortgage. Tell us your story. Hi. Um, my husband and I bought a foreclosed home probably two years ago for about $25,000. My son and his wife moved into the home. And now they're wanting to get a mortgage so they can pay us back the 25000 And then they were going to get probably like 50000 extra because they were going to do rip out the kitchen and do some work on the home. Awesome. Now, Great idea. Now, do my husband and I pay capital gains tax on that 50000 extra? No, not if your son takes it out. We can also sell the house and do a gift of equity, and we would also have you call your CPA just to consult with them on that. But I'm uh -huh. sure there's been a lot of money that you've invested in that house that you can use to do, sort of write off the, uh, the assets that you've had. And right, because when the house was purchased, there was no furnace in it, so they had to put a new furnace in and what things the house, like that. Sure. What would the house appraise for, Tammy? Um, you know what? They haven't gotten to the appraisal yet. Well, don't do but that. Like if you go on Zillow right now, it shows it's it's worth like one hundred and twenty five. Oh, you, this Perfect. is a good one. Yeah, look, don't do anything. We'll allow us to handle this for you and definitely save you guys some money. You can do a gift of equity. You could uh -huh. uh, figure out ways to free up some of the cash in the house. Uh -huh. So I think we got some options for you. It's a great yeah, call. And you guys took advantage. Make sure that my husband and I aren't stuck paying this big, huge 
tax on, on right. this extra money. Right. Right. We're going to definitely have you call the CPA. Yeah, double, double, double check with your CPA for sure. Okay. It's a great okay. call. Thanks for wrapping Thanks, up Dan, our show. You. It's been another version of the Hardcore Mortgage Real Estate Business Show brought to you by Capital Mortgage Funding. Be sure to call us all week long at Capital. That's 1-800-LOW-RATE, the best mortgage banker. Or send us your emails to mortgage.show at lowrateonline.com. We've got Pat Caputo coming up with sports next. For Dan Dubinsky at Skyward Realty, Downtown Royal Oak, Alex Nafusi, Harry Glenn. Go I'm Green, Robbie baby. Green. Let's go now. Go Spartans. Seating was a paid program. Views expressed on this program are not necessarily those of CBS Radio, its sponsors, or affiliates. Hi, Harry Glantz for Capital Mortgage Funding. Rates are at historic lows, so what are you waiting for? Call 1-800-LOW-RATE and let our award-winning staff help you save money. Look, if you're looking to purchase a new home, refinance your existing home, and you want to save money, call 1-800-LOW-RATE and take advantage of these historic low rates. That's Capital Mortgage Funding, 1-800-LOW-RATE, the best mortgage banker. What are you waiting for? Call 1-800-LOW-RATE. Capital Mortgage Funding is powered by Fairway Independent Mortgage Corporation, NMLS ID number 2289, Equal Housing Lender. Ready to take control of your career? Your associate's degree in work experience will take you only so far. A business degree from Cleary University is what you need. The sooner the better, even if you work full time. Cleary University works with your schedule. You can earn our new business leadership degree online in just 16 months, giving you the skills and credentials to move your career forward. We're a business school that's 100% focused on helping busy professionals complete their degrees. At Cleary, you'll get a clear degree path, maximize transfer credits, and can earn up to one year of free college credits for work and life experience. Cleary courses are real and relevant. To us, online doesn't mean on your own. You'll be mentored by industry leaders and collaborate with a core group of peers from day one to graduation. 16 months to a BBA. Your time starts now. Enroll this spring and finish your degree a full six months ahead of students who wait till fall. You'll also lock in Cleary's 2014 tuition rates, guaranteed not to go up as long as you stay enrolled. Classes start April 13th, so apply today at cleary.edu. Cleary University. Business strong. Leases? Ugh. Crazy mileage limits? Being stuck with the same car? No thanks. Visit a car ride dealership instead. Through their exclusive right program, you can lease a late model, low mileage used car. Mileage limit? Try 18000 per year. Being stuck? Swap your car for a one-time fee after just 12 months of on-time payments. And Car Ride makes the bright leasing program available for everyone. Regardless of your credit history, no hassles, no worries. Visit CarRight.com. That's C A R I T E.com to find your nearest location and your next car. For all you Michigan Lottery Club Kino players, these are exciting days because they're doubler days. And to explain what doubler days is all about, we're talking to Dr. Irving Corey. I'm a professor of advanced dual linguistics. In other words, you're an expert in double talk? Well, you won't catch me saying that's not untrue, although I think I just did or at least I soon will. 